everybody. Thought I'd do a really quick impromptu video about bench blocks. Now, if you watch the channel, you see that this is pretty much my go-to bench block for doing just about everything pistol. Now, I have a project that I'm working on with a company that there will be no videos for. This is just some testing of some products for a Glock. And I don't have a Glock bench block, but I did find one online that I could 3D print. And some of you watched a live stream over the weekend, and this is the end result. Now, as you can see, this Glock 43 fits in. The pins do line up. I can't get seem to get that last one there, but it does line up in there. But it also fits a Glock 26. Now the Glock 26 has the two pins here, which is why this is oval here. You can see the two pins right there. And there's the there's the back pin. And it does fit a certain third party frame as well. Now I'm going to throw the time lapse up. The live stream ended about five hours into it. This was about a 10 hour print. A lot of you were talking to me two hours in when I was having problems with the printer. This was my third attempt at printing this bench block. So I did have to fix some problems with the printer. Um, they're just normal calibration issues that I had. Now I'm going to give this a workout. Now I did print this with PLA Pro from eSun and an 80% infill. So this thing's pretty solid and it has some weight to it. So I have no doubt that this thing is going to last for me. I'll have all the stats down in the description and I'll also have some links to what I'm running for my 3D printer. Hope everybody's staying safe out there and look forward to seeing you again soon.